I think that right hand is an issue. Uh, Michaela has to go back and she has to fix that. You know, she's leaning on her on her right side all too often. She's available for the right hand. But I, I thought this performance was a, a good performance. She showed she was solid. She was strong in the inside. Uh, she broke down Wild Heart down to the body. Her jabs are good. Her right hand was on point. But again, that right hand over the top that Wild Heart was landing, it was getting on my nerves a little bit, Bernardo. All right, we take a look. Yeah, uh, Michaela Mayer does have an issue uh, stopping the right hand. And um, with the rematch with Alicia Baumgartner, that could become an issue. And also, Katie Taylor seems to have a pretty short right hand. I'm not saying that Michaela Mayer would get stopped or knocked out. It's just that that shit can keep building up points, you dig? 17-1, and one, now she moved to 18-1 and one with 5 KO. She fought Elisa Lucy Windheart, Wildheart. I forgot how pronounced her name. I'm just going to call it Wildheart. Uh, 24 hours notice after Christina Lenartu, Lenard, Lenartu um, was removed from the bout by the British Boxing Board of Control due to um, an eye uh, issue that really wasn't an issue from what I got from it. Um, T Street Controversy with Fight View 360, the main event up next between the juggernaut Joe Joyce and the unwavering, unfaltering power of Big Bang CCP, Jaylee Zhang. I'm looking forward to that fight. So I said, you know what? I'm not doing nothing. I don't care if this video doesn't do, you know, too many views. But um, I said, I'm going to cover this fight. And plus, that Michaela Mayer is something else. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord. I've covered, out of those 18 fights, I've had to cover, I mean, have a YouTube video for at least 13, 14 of those. With a couple, with a fight or two. We covered that for years. Time. Was there a letdown from... One beautiful thing about the 130, really 126, all the way up to 147, is those girls can all fight each other. So I'm looking forward to see the uh, Alicia Baumgartner rematch, and then the winner of that goes on the fight. Possibly Katie Taylor, um, Chantel Cameroon winner. That's going to be on May the 20 from uh, Dublin. So there's some big fights to make between 130, 135, and 140 between all of these ladies. Anytime I see also shout out to Michaela Mayer who seems to get it and her promotional team seems to get it where the UK fans that they're, they're much they're much more passionate and engaged um, uh, fan base like much more knowledgeable too when it comes to American fans to the judges scorecards judge Mark Lyson winner by unanimous decision and now the women's WBC interim lightweight champion of the world Michaela Mayer. The smile is back on Michaela Mayer's face. There's going to be a belt. She got him a unanimous decision victory. I apologize. I hadn't muted it. What I was saying is, um, Michaela Mayer seems to get it when it comes to fighting in the UK. They're a much more passionate and knowledgeable fan base um, um, in the sport. Well, you know, in the United States, I'm not saying that the fans are casuals, but there's a pretty big difference in how the UK fans embrace the fighters, women's boxing in this case, and just the sport as a whole. So I'm um, history controversy with Fight View 360. Um, there's some really interesting fights, as we were talking about, if that part didn't get cut out, to be made between 126, 130, 135, and 140. Katie Taylor being the current 135-pound undisputed champion. Michaela Mayer just winning the WBC interim champion at 135. There still remain, it still remains to be seen if we're going to see um, the Alicia Baumgartner fight again in a rematch or, you know, at what weight, you know, 130 or 135. But... It's always good to look forward to the fact that we can possibly see Alicia Baumgartner, Michaela Mayer versus Katie, Katie Taylor and um, Chantel Cameroon winning, which is taking on what they're going to be fighting on um, uh, May the 20th. So nice little solid ESPN Plus here card here in the States, uh, 514 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The main event is the Big Bang CCP, Jaylee Zhang taking on the juggernaut Joe Joyce. This girl for 24 hours notice actually didn't look too bad if we're being honest. She's a, a karate champion and T Street loves karate. Wasn't it like every kid's dream, boy's dream, you know, to like want to do karate or be a, my shit was the Ninja Turtles. First I wanted to be a GI Joe, you know, and then I was like, you know, the turtles, I was like, all right, I'd rather be a turtle. I don't want to go to war.
Then it was a Power Ranger. And then that's when I, you know, I grew up. I grew up. Started getting into the adolescence and the ladies. I wonder if we're going to hear a post-fight interview from Michaela Mayer. But yeah, these divisions are hot. Also, she keeps getting hit with that right hand. That's an issue. Let's turn WBC it up. WBC interim champion wide on the scorecards, but she made you work for it. Is that the kind of fight you wanted? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, she stepped in last minute, so, you know, that was really gutsy of her. It was definitely a big fight for her to just jump in on 24 hours notice, but she was tough and durable. I see why she had the confidence to do that, so props to her. How tough is it for you to adapt? You were figuring out her out as it went along. She was trying to get you on the inside, wasn't she? Um, yeah, a little bit of both. You know what, I went to go attack. She would take that, that little step backwards. Um, and I like to fight on the inside. So once I knew that she couldn't outbox me, I decided to take it to her a little bit and, and try to break her down to the body. Okay, so this interim belt, it puts you in line to fight the undisputed champion, KT Taylor. How do you feel about that? Would you take that as your next fight? Um, well, I know, I do believe that Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano are supposed to go for their rematch. Um, so assuming that still happens, which I, I think it is, then I will challenge the winner of that. So definitely really exciting for me. Um, you know, this is where I belong. I belong in big fights. I belong in world title fights. Um, I'm in my prime. I'm, I'm, I feel great. And so I want the toughest challenges possible. And right now, 135, that's Katie Taylor. Excellent. Well, look, we know it was an up and down week for you, but it, you got there in the end and you put on a great show. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. And I did my hair myself, you guys know. And it stayed intact, so that's a win. It looks great. Well done. <laughs> so, Michaela Mayer, sup? Hair did look good. We got the juggernaut coming up next. So, all right, then we have the plan. So, you're going to have Katie Taylor fight Chantel Cameroon, or Cameron, um, May the 20th. That's going to be on the zone in uh, Ireland, Dublin. You And then... The winner of that, if it's Katie Taylor, going to go on the fight of Amanda Serrano sometime in the fall, late summer. Maybe sometime this year we see the winner of, if hopefully, if, if I don't know what's going on with the WBA belt with um, um, uh, Choi at 130. You know, she needs to be stripped of something. But what I was saying is hopefully we'll see Michaela Mayer and Alicia Baumgartner run it back later this year. Unless Alicia Baumgartner's got something booked up, you know, sometime soon. And then the winner of that fights the winner of Katie Taylor, uh, Amanda Serrano, if she beats Chantel Cameron sometime around this time next year, maybe earlier, March or so. I think that's the way to go. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and T-Street Controversy with 5v360.